Uh, hello everyone, this is a game that uh, students can play in the classroom to understand tables. So this is an, even the primary students and secondary students can play this game in the classroom. You just need a paper. In the paper, you can just see I have divided the paper into number of columns and rows and written the numbers. And the end number I written as winner. How to play the game? Now this game is played to, I told you like to understand the tables and they will never forget the tables. How to play? Now for example, this game can be simultaneously played by 6 to 7 kids also. Now for example, 2 kids are playing in a bench. So in two different pawns, they can select one is silver and one is red color. So this is I made with just paper. Now I just require to play this game. I just require an uh, a dice here. So now first one, before you start the game, you have to specify what tables, uh, what multiples you want to uh, play in this game. For example, if you want to play the multiples of four, now how to play this? Now for example, first student rolls the die, he got five. Okay. So this is 5, next second student rolls the die, he got 2, so now again we will continue, so he got 2, if at all he had got 3, okay, so the, the pawn would have come to 8, so now if at all the pawn comes to the multiples of 8, he gets one more chance immediately to play, now for example he got 8, so now he, for example he was at 6, okay, he got 2, so he came at 8. Now again he gets a chance to roll the die. So it is 9 again. Okay, now for the second player, the second player, it is 1. If, for, if at all he gets 2, okay, when he rolls the die, he, got, he gets 2. So he will get one more chance. Like this, wherever uh, the pawn goes and settles on the multiples of 4, they will get one more chance to roll the die. So like this, they go on. So a child who, uh, who finishes up to 142 comes first is the winner or till the period gets over whoever uh, is at a maximum number they are the winner uh, this game you can also play for multiple of 3 4 5 6 up to 12 if you if you increase this uh, up to 200 odd so i am i'm sure that you can play up to 200 so students by playing this you i think you we can spend one or two classes for this because you're indirectly they are playing the game and also learning the tables so uh, the, you can extend this for different tables. So this I thought uh, an interesting activity that I would like to share among uh, teachers. So thank you.